showcased at the African Metropolis. African Metropolis is an initiative by the Kunta Institute of South Africa and the South African uh, executive uh, producer Stephen Markovitz with a screening starting on the 9th of May in Johannesburg and uh, 30 May in Cape Town. One of the films is uh, titled Berea, written and produced by uh, Makhan Mamabol, who joins us now to tell us more about her short film involvement in African Metropolis. Good morning. Welcome to One Live. Hi, thanks for having me. Okay, give us a bit of background into what African Metropolis is. African Metropolis, like you, you explained earlier, it, it is an initiative to showcase African filmmakers across the continent. Yeah. And the Goethe Institute, along with Hubert Bass and a whole lot of other um, uh, funders, decided to come together and give African filmmakers that opportunity for them to tell these stories on their own terms. Yeah. So they put out a call you know, for filmmakers to put in their you know, applications for what they would want to what they would want to tell if they had a story to tell about their African mm. city. And I think more importantly, I mean, usually you see films about, you know, rural Africa and, you know, the starving children. We wanted to change the perception about who we are as Africans, yeah. you know, to tell a story on your own terms right. about your current um, situation. So they decided that um, the focus would be about metropolises yeah. because they are very many in the continent. And um, I think they eventually, you know, came down to just the six yeah. countries that were chosen. And um, we produced the one from South Africa. What Berea, though? Yes. For you. Um, Berea is one of those interesting suburbs yeah. in Johannesburg. Um, I think my main fascination was around telling that untold story yeah. about Johannesburg. Um, it is... It is a fascinating narrative we have in downtown Johannesburg where the, that, that part of the country has gone through so many cycles of gentrification mm -hmm. um, that it really fascinates me to see those old white people. You know, yes. you always see that one old man, you're yes. like, where is he, where is his family, yeah. why did they leave him, why did he choose to stay? Yeah. And through the research of, you know, wanting to tell that story, we came to that realization that we have no right yes. to decide who lives in Johannesburg, yes. why they chose to live in Johannesburg. Right. And, and why not? Why yes. not Johannesburg? Berea is such a, an interesting place. I think if Berea could talk, it could tell a really interesting story about yeah. who we are as South Africans. What was the highlight for you on work, of working on, on writing and producing this uh, production? I think it, um, it was traveling the world, really, yeah. because the, the film has really traveled the world and gone to international film festivals, um, some of which I had only dreamed I would ever go to. But mm. it was part of our plan to, to do a short film that will get us ready to, to write our first feature film. Yeah. And it has delivered that and a whole lot more. I feel like it has been that gateway for us. I mean, Bopa Productions is a really small production yeah. company, but we're growing. And I feel like this short film has given us that um, almost like that springboard for us yes. to feel confident enough to to get to that place where we've always dreamed to get to. Why was uh, you know Abina and Wilson you know the best person to tell your story? Um, we chose that cast specifically because of their talent. I yeah. mean, they're amazing. We've all seen Abna Ivor mm. over the years doing, you know, soapies. Mm. Um, and, I mean, she is that foreign actress. And we sit, we sat there thinking we miss that face. Yes. Who would be best to tell that story? Mm. And I'm so glad we had an opportunity to let Abna be on screen again yeah. for audiences. And Wilson, he's that guy from, you know, Zulu on my stoop. We all remember him. Yeah. And it was great to see older actors coming back and almost sharing their passion and their understanding of film mm. back with us younger filmmakers and you know filmmaking is a collaborative process yes. and it's always such an honor to be able to work with such esteemed professionals so you worked with Vincent Blue as well on this yes. how was that? Oh Vincent is one of my favorite people in the world yeah. he is uh, an acclaimed multi award winning <laughs> director <laughs> yeah. and I'm really glad to do this project with him and many more Vincent yeah. is part of Poor Power Productions now and I'm glad that he agreed to join us um, I love his work I love the honesty of his work and I think him having started his career as a documentary filmmaker brings such honesty to yeah. to fiction work yeah um it's how i want to tell stories yeah. i mean as a company i mean poor pa means telling it like it yes. is so it makes perfect sense to have that documentary insight into fiction because that's what we do we write and maybe because we're control freaks we yeah. want to produce <laughs> that work that we write i don't know you want to control real life <laughs> hey in the in the ideal world 
wouldn't that be perfect? What what does something like African Metropolis do for uh, poor pa and you know budding filmmakers and people who just love this industry? I think what it does is it gives us that opportunity to finally have somebody to hold your hand mm. as you are being introduced to the world mm. stage. Um, most filmmakers I know have those grand dreams to finally have your film, you know, at the major cinemas, um, even if it's just locally. Mm. And to be able to do that locally, internationally, and still be celebrated, knowing that somebody's holding your hand, they're taking you through all the steps, introducing you to all the right people. It's such a difficult industry to yeah. work in. And... You need to know so many people just to get, you know, your little foot in the door. Yes. So this initiative really, I speak, I say this on behalf of all the other six um, filmmakers. Yeah. I mean, all the way from Nigeria to Cote d'Ivoire. I mean, the guy who did the film from yeah. uh, Cote d'Ivoire, he's got his feature film showing at Cannes yeah. this year. So we've all grown yeah. so much. All right. Makhano, thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, much respect to you and the team. Right hand producer of the short film, uh, Berea. Uh, it's one of the uh, show, six short films uh, set in uh, six African cities that will be showcased at the African Metropolis and start screening on the 9th of May in Johannesburg and then 30th of May in Cape Town.